A few weeks ago in episode 35 I built this Chinese lead chaser kit and then I modified it and made it into a two layer sandwich where the second layer was doing a divide by 10. I've now added this third row of LEDs so now this is the divide by 100 row so we now have this quite pleasing three line effect. This is now what the circuit diagram looks like. So on the left here we have the 555 which is generating the clock pulses and we can control that with the variable resistor, the preset that I showed you on the top. So the 555 clocks the first 4017 and that's got the 10 LEDs here. Those, those are the 0 to 9 LEDs along that top row there. And we also have this pin clock out and the clock out changes whenever the tenth LED has been lit. So, so this is like a divide by 10. So our clock out here feeds the second four, 4017. So that's driving the LEDs along the middle row there. And similarly you have 10 LEDs there. So these are, these are the divide by 10 LEDs and they clock only once um, for every 10 uh, LEDs on the top row. And then the clock out from the second 4017 goes to the third 4017, which is the bottom row of LEDs. So this is now a divide by 100. So this, this clock rate is a hundredth of the square wave pulses there going, going in. And then you have the final row of 10 LEDs. So these LEDs only go from one digit to the next. Uh, every time 10 of these have been seen, which means that a hundred of these transitions have had to happen. So we've got a ones, tens, hundreds counter, and that's what you see on the display there. So I hope you enjoyed that video. Let me know in the comments if you build your own, or if you have any other ideas for hacking it further. Um, I have a, actually have another kit, so I could add a thousands row there. I might do that if I if I have time. But otherwise, thank you very much for watching, and see you on the next video.